Hi, my name is Raj Beadle. Uh, I have done a video about the Cappuccino Torre on the Cadona and Velasca Prestige uh, models. Um, and there I have said that you can just clean it uh, using a milk cleaning liquid on the cappuccino function or the frothing function to try and clean it as much as you can. And also take this out, clean it, wash it soon after you finish doing the milk, maybe before you put this one in the fridge, take this out, wash it under running water, thoroughly clean it and leave it away from this one because in the fridge it can cause uh, milk to uh, harden. So that's the reason I recommend that this is left separately. Now, if still you, if you have problems with this and you're unable to get uh, the milk to work, normally you will find that it's sort of uh, not dragging the milk and you get a lot of steam coming through. You may have to undo this and clean it. So I'm going to show you what you need to look for. So I'm going to take this part off. Usually the problem isn't here. Just wash it, but this comes in two parts. Uh, so you can wash it and put it uh, uh, aside. So that's not the real problem. The problem could be here. So we'll take this part off, which just comes off. And this is this has got two parts inside. So I'm going to sort of wiggle it and remove uh, this part. This is the difficult thing to remove. So you have to make sure that you press these two pieces and then take it out. So if you are finding it difficult, just wiggle it slightly uh, and that you can use this to pull it slightly and then wiggle it, that should come off. Now, forget this one, this part is uh, fairly easy to clean and doesn't cause much problem. So just clean it and leave that aside. This is the one that we have problems with. So you can see a magnet which is just a magnet for shutting the uh, shutting this part. It does not actually uh, do anything other than that. And it can sometimes break if you push it too hard. So be gentle with that. Now, this part actually comes off and you have got a rubber seal. Usually the blockage can be here. So make sure that you blow it through and put a pin in here to make sure that that part is clean. You can blow it through and see whether there is any blockage there. Once it is done, if you wanted to lubricate this slightly with the, the lubricant that is provided in that white tube, just a little bit and just rub it through. And if there are any damages to that, that can also cause problems. Uh, for the air to go in. So make sure that it is not damaged and just lubricate it. Now, on this part, you have got uh, a hole that you see through here, and that's fairly straightforward. It takes you through, and if you look through here, there is a, a gap and there are two parts. So you, if you put something through there, uh, like uh, a paper clip would be, the best way just to push it through, just rotate it so that it cleans any milk residues there. Now, the other part that needs cleaning is, if you see here, there is another piece, another tube here. Now that actually goes into this section as well. And you can see that you may not see it from here properly, but if you actually look through there, you can see that that opens up within this chamber and that needs to be properly cleaned. So make sure that that is clean. That is quite an important part because it is uh, the air has to circulate for the uh, frothing to take place. If you can do that one and the one underneath, make sure that that is nice and clean, wash it and then put it back, put it back this way, so that part goes like that, properly fitted, and then you 
insert that in here and clicks into place. And then you have to open this little flap so that this goes in to that tube that's there. So make sure that that is there like that. Pressed in and that one goes onto the dispenser and then that goes in there. So make sure that this cappuccino torre is nice and clean. And that is the most important thing. If you have any problems, feel free to come on Zoom uh, onto, uh, we have got a Zoom platform where we have engineers and myself there. So you can show it to us and we can go through step by step. Uh, the way to go on to the Zoom is gadgetdirect.com and you can click on Meet Us Live. And we, we are there during uh, working hours on, on, on weekdays. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, let us know if you have any uh, comments about this video. Thank you.